The way they lied, those days have to be over. The Post is directed by Steven Spielberg and starring Meryl Streep, Tom Hanks, Sarah Paulson, Bob Odenkirk, and Tracy Letts. Before I go any further, I just want to say there will not be any plot spoilers in this review. This film centers around the acquisition and publishing of the Pentagon Papers by the Washington Post in 1971. It's kind of a behind-the-scenes look of all of the drama that took place in the decision to acquire those government documents and then to publish those government documents. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the name Steven Spielberg. He's probably one of the most readily recognized names in all of movie history. But he has been making movies in all kinds of genres and having great success at it. And this film is another solid film to add to his already stellar filmography. This is a film that he decided to do in the post-production phase of another film he's working on in Ready Player One, which is an adaptation of a science fiction novel. But he thought that this script was so good and the content in it was so appropriate, particularly for what we are dealing with now in a real life and when it comes to the government and the journalist industry, what value do they still hold and what importance do they still play in our lives? And this film deals with a lot of those things. And it's very interesting how the strengths of this film is how the events of the past really impact the present. Before I deal with a lot of more intricacies of the film, I just want to talk about Steven Spielberg's direction in the film, which is, of course, still very very solid. Spielberg is someone who is greatly criticized for making a lot of mainstream movies and having kind of a lot of sentimentality put into his movies. And what I have realized delving into a lot of his filmography is he is a master craftsman when it comes to films. They are so meticulously well made that I have to give him just heaps of praise for that. And, and this film is no exception to that. Here you have the talents of Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep, two of the most well-known and best actors and actresses of our generation. They are multiple award-winning, they are household names, and they are great at what they do. And in this film, they are very solid in that fact. And what is great is seeing these two heavyweights go at each other, have this back and forth, with a really solid script. It's not a perfect script, and I don't think this is very much a perfect movie in general, but I'll get to the, the negatives a little more later on. I think it's a really good political thriller, and that is what the film really is. It's more of a thriller, it's more of a drama, and it's more of a plot paced drama. There's not a lot of character depth in it, but the characters that they do highlight, particularly Ben Bradley, who was portrayed by Tom Hanks, who was the head editor at Washington Post at the time, and Kay Graham, portrayed by... Meryl Streep, who was the owner of the Washington Post at the time. Both of these characters have their own story and plot lines to deal with, and both of them converge when it comes to the Pentagon Papers. For those of you not familiar with what the Pentagon Papers are or were, these are government documents that were detailing the United States' involvement in Southeast Asia, particularly when it centers around the Vietnam War and the Vietnam conflict. And these were details going way back from the Harry Truman administration, going all the way up to the Nixon administration. Basically, these documents detailed things that the American public was not aware of, how deeply involved the United States was. And once these documents slowly started to get out, the government got very protective of that, and they wanted to keep all of these things kind of hush-hush, keep all of these things secret because they didn't want essentially all of their dirty laundry being aired out. So they threatened to basically sue any publication that would put these out. And the film details that time in American history, I think, rather well. It gives you enough context to give you the sense of the way the world was, how deeply involved politics and journalism was at the time. And I think a lot of those uh, strands or a lot of those relationships still exist today. This film is very contemporary in that respect. The Washington Post has to deal with whether to publish these papers or not publish these papers and the repercussions that 
I'll go with that. And that is where a lot of the interplay with the characters comes in. Like I mentioned, Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep are fantastic, but they're also littered with a lot of other great character actors. Bob Odenkirk particularly stands out as being fantastic. Tracy Letts is also really great in this film as well. And you get to see a lot of other people drop in, like David Cross, like Bradley Whitford, and Sarah Paulson. But where this film really excels is keeping the pace of the film constantly moving forward. This film never gets bogged down in its details, never gets bogged down in its story. Every scene in the film is pushing the plot ever forward. This is a really good movie overall. It's not a great movie. And this is when I'll get into the kind of more negatives of the film. The first half of the film, it's not bad in any way. It just really pales in comparison to the second half of the film. Also, the film is not an investigative journalistic film. It is not all the president's men when we're slowly revealing all of the details of the Watergate scandal and things like that. This film is much more abrupt than that. We already have the Pentagon Papers. Once we get them, we have all of this information. There's no investigating the government. All of the investigative evidence is given to you through these papers. So the film is more immediate in that respect. So the film isn't as riveting as I think a lot of people were expecting, or at least as I was expecting. Also, with a film like this that's dealing with politics, it's going to get a little heavy-handed at times, and it certainly does towards the end of the film. So with all that being said, I'm going to give this film a 3.8 out of 5 stars. The direction by Spielberg is solid. The acting by everyone involved is really good, particularly Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep. And and I think it's a really interesting film delving into things that are rather important in our society today. So that has been my review of The Post. If you like this video, please check out the other videos on my channel.